Uh, it gives me great pleasure to introduce uh, the next speaker, Dr. T. Sabesan, who is the consultant facial surgeon of DGH Nigambo. Dr. Sabesan is, uh, is a doctor of uh, uh, Peradeniya campus, the Faculty of Medicine and Dentistry, and he got his post-surgical training from the PGIM. He underwent further extensive training in the field of cosmetic surgery and medicine under the guidance of Professor B. Ilan Kovan in the UK. His special interest includes cosmetic facial, uh, cosmetic facial, facial sur surgery as well as reconstructive facial surgery. Without much ado, sir, please, if you would. Thank you very much, Chairpersons, for the kind introductions. And uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is a great pleasure for me to come here and give this talk uh, about this facial beauty and uh, surgical art. The reasons, the many, the main things presenting in this prestigious medical board of Sri Lanka, serving for more than 45 years, and um, being part of it is a really great pleasure for me. So to that end, I'd like to thank the president, Dr. Matthew, and the council members, all of you, for inviting me for this forum to talk. The second thing is, it's a very interesting topic. I will never get fed up of this. It's like you're asking a child, would you like to have ice cream or something like that? Uh, answer is always yes. Yeah, so don't come to me and ask me, Sabis, have your time to talk about cosmetic facial surgery? The answer is yes. I enjoy this. The work goes like that. Uh, I'm really happy to do any kind of surgeries and seeing patients uh, give them a happy look and happy mind and happy life and improve the quality of life. Um, it's, it's not simply the cosmetics because I'm doing this for now 20 years. When I see them and these patients are very close to us after some time, very close to our, 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 our service. So you can see what's happening in their life and I'm beginning to feel it's in, improve their quality of life in many ways. So there's more than the cosmetic, I would say. All right. Before I start these topics, I like to ask this question to our audience who are here and viewing through the internet. If there is anyone, a girl, a boy, or a man, or a woman, if you don't like to be beautiful, please put up your hand. I like to see that. I like to see a one who's telling, I don't like to be beautiful. Not yet, yes. I'm asking this question everywhere. So everyone, everybody, everyone wants to be beautiful. But the problem is, if I ask you how to define the beauty, or if you ask me, similarly me, how to define the beauty, it's very difficult to define. I can't. Still I'm struggling to find this defect. So if, I, if I go back to our university time, you know, we see the, when the juniors come, junior batch come, we see the girls. And I will comment, oh, this girl A is beautiful. My friend will say, no, no, she's not. The girl B is beautiful. So that's how it goes. But in a way, that's good. If both of us think the one is beautiful, or if the whole batch think one, that particular girl is beautiful, there will be more trouble. So the goatee has some plan. I like what the Shakespeare says. It's, it's my perception. Shakespeare says, anything, everything, give you a pleasure in your mind that come through all your senses. Seeing, hearing, eating, or touching, whatever it is. That's beautiful. That's what he says. I like it. I, I'm not going to say that is the only right thing, but I like it. So anything, everything, give you pleasure in your mind is beautiful. A beautiful song. We are hearing beautiful song. Beautiful painting. A beautiful story. Something totally different. A beautiful film or drama, a beautiful girl, a beautiful child, a beautiful flower. All are beautiful. But, but you are receiving that beauty through different senses. Anyway, this is studied in the aesthetic aspect, cultural, social, or social psychological, philosophical, sociological level with many experts. Coming to my field, surgical field, what we think, the characterization of human beauty is a combination of inner beauty and outer beauty. Before one of you stand up and say, but the rubbish you are talking about, that beauty comes from the heart inside. What you are talking about outside, I, I, I respect you, that's correct. That's correct. 
So that's what we surgeons or artists, we think. It's a combination of inner beauty and outer beauty. If you really want to know the inner beauty, I'm not the person. No surgeons. No medical practitioners suitable to talk about that. Probably, these all are related to the psychological factors. Maybe a psychiatrist might may be better than me. A psychologist, better than all of us. Or people in spiritual life, much better than us. So it's all related to your psychological factors, personality, charisma, yeah, flagrant, so many things. Outer beauty, that is mostly on physical attractiveness. So we surgeons or cosmetic physicians, sculptors, artists, poets, we all are focused on this aspect, mainly. So what we are talking is outer aspect. So in the question time, I don't ask, ask anything outer than that. I agree with you. This lady is a typical standard of a Sri Lankan lady without makeup. For me, she's beautiful. Beautiful. It's a middle age. Very standard, common looking Sri Lankan lady. If we analyze the components of beauty, people talk about shape, texture, color, size. Shape, shape of the body or face. Texture, how your skin looks, feel. And the color, black, oh, white, brown, pinkish, yellowish. It all matters. And the size, big or small, tall or high. The, these are the elements of the components of beauty, basic element, which is the most important. If I ask a question to you, anybody like to give any answer? Please, that's better because it's a two way communication there. The shape or texture, or color or size, which is most important to give a beauty? Shape. Any other? Nobody knows. It's, it's, you can't pass or fail in this question. No. Any other answer? Huh? Color. The color is very, very become very important now. All these young girls, they want to look fair, 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 and fair. We will go with Dr. Vijay Gunadana, that shape. We think. Most of the surgeon and the artists, sculpt, sculptors, you see when they sculpt, the shape. We think. And say, even from the shadow, you can recognize some people. When the Not Not Seven James Bond comes, the film, the shadow comes first. You know it's, it's Bond. The way he walks, the way he looks, the way he handles the gun, it's Bond. If a Mr. Bean comes with a gun, you know it's Mr. Bean. It's not Bond. That's shape. When he with gun, come with the gun, the shadow is not, no, it is not the bond, it is not the James Bond. Sean Connery or the famous one or some other bond, it's not the bond. If the bean comes, it must be bean. It's from the shadow I am talking. When the Shah Khan comes, the shadow, you can tell it is the Shah Khan. When the Madhuru Dixit dance, you can tell the shadow. That's shape. Shape. Then texture, your skin texture, color, size, all matters. But shape is important. So this is what we think when we are operating, we keep that. So come to the body, the bone is the one giving the, the shape. So I have a shape figure. Yeah. This doctor has a one, that doctor has another shape. That's come from the, our bone structure. Yeah. Soft tissue as well. But if you take the different parts of the bone, head and neck, or face, thorax, abdomen, pelvis there, in the face, bone directly come to the shape. In the thorax, yes but soft tissue matter a lot. Abdomen, yes, but soft tissues change a lot. The pelvis is the same. If it comes to the face, facial shape, that's bone is the very, very important directly. In, in your body, there's no other parts of the body has such a strong relationship for the shape and the identification. That's why the identifications, yeah, this is there, but the face comes. Identify, when you mask, we, nowadays, you can't identify from people. Because you cover the face. Right. Plus, the body and the face is a composite structure. There are some other supporting system like muscles, ligament, we listen to all about that. And the outer envelope, the skin. In between, there are some filling material, fats, and ground substance. It's like. So what we do, 
when we want to make somebody beautiful. We change these elements in such a way to give a better shape. Of course, then the good texture. Then we'll improve the color. Yes, change the shape. But main thing is the shape. Sorry, it's the size, mainly shape. So the bone main things plus the soft tissue. I'm not telling soft tissue is not. Right. Then if you come to the cosmetic medicine or surgery, now we don't talk about only the um, surgery because now the medicine component coming. Medicine component is coming. And in general, if you see the world, the, 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 the trend is going a little away from surgery, become a minimal invasive surgery, going towards non-invasive surgery or medicine. I'm sure, it's my belief, in 50 years' time, there will be cosmetic physicians in these countries. Surgeries will come down, maybe one, four, something like that. That's correct. Why you should do the surgery? If you can do with with some medicine capsule or some magic, if you can do that, why do you want to do surgery? So people are thinking on that. All the researchers are going towards that. Same effect without surgery, whether we can get it. That part. And the companies, pharmaceutical companies also in that direction. So in 50 years' time, the surgical impact will come down, medical impact will go up. So you will have a Sri Lankan Association or College of Cosmetic physician as well, it takes 50 years, I believe. I strongly believe. Right, these are some surgeries, hair transplant, facelift, genioplasty, all I will, one by one I will come there. Then there are some non-surgical procedures, small injection, minimal surgery, or some blood injection, chemicals, lasers, something like that. They all are part of the cosmetic industry. So here, what I am going to do is, mainly based on the outer beauty, and how is the body contouring we are changing to look much better. Same time, it will give you a rejuvenation, give you a younger look. So the common saying is, when, when we were trained, our bosses say, cosmetic surgery makes a client looks 10 years younger. That's a common concept, 10 years younger. So most of these people are between 45 to 55. Very good age is 50 to do a cosmetic surgery. So you'll enjoy that for another 10 years, 60. So 50 to 60, you are very important in your career and the society. So that looking good, smarter is beneficial. Right, so my lecture will be based on outer beauty and changing the body contouring, mainly the face, and making the people looking younger. Purpose to improve their quality of life. So mainly focusing on shape, of course, texture and color and size. Brow lift, the brow, it is studied very thoroughly, the eyebrow, where the medial end, where the lateral end, in the vertical and the horizontal plane, and the peak in relation to what lateral limbus or medial limbus or pupil or what level. Ladies, I think, sorry, you may think I'm not talking too much, too much, because you may be knowing more than me. Going to medical uh, salons and all, they do. They just follow uh, somebody called Vitaka, a Hollywood uh, makeup man. He started that from that uh, actress Marilyn Monroe, that time. The eyebrow, anybody remember Marilyn Monroe eyebrow? Classic, beautiful. Everybody follow that, right? But it is thoroughly studied now. There are lots of differences. Eyebrow, Sri Lankan, Indian, British, Chinese, Japanese, a lot of differences. That we should understand that. Anyway, look at this picture. This is a model. She's looking very good, but she knows now, because of these medias and they know how a, a, a brow should look. So media and they, sometimes they will come and teach us. They'll come and tell. So I, uh, at the beginning I get a little annoyed, but later I understand that I listen to them, what they are going to talk. They tell, this is how it should look. Are you doing this treatment or that treatment? Before I, <laughs> I tell what is your problem, these are the treatment options, they will teach me. Yeah. We have to understand that, particularly young boys and girls. That their life, their world is different now. All right, anyway. So making this, she won't exactly like this. Medial end, it should go up the peak there and the lateral end here. So I made it in such a way what she wants. So it looks, it's correct. The eyes looks better. If you look at this, medial end, the peak, and the lateral end, sorry, I can't. I can't.
and there was this laser here. Can you see that medial lens? I'm sorry. Usually I love to have a big screen here before and after. Then I, I come out there and I'll explain all these details there. I couldn't do it here. Uh, the medial end, the peak and the lateral end, I can't point. Sorry for that. So that, that's the difference. Brow lift to give you. Blepharoplasty, I mean eye bags, particularly the upper one. You look at this, old eye, eye and the younger eye. Younger eye should have the supratarsal fold from medial to lateral. The medial to lateral. Medial to lateral. Medial to lateral. When we are aging, we develop the back there and the eyebrow come down. Then it gets sacked. So the, if you look at this diagram, can you see that over there? No. Coming? No, somebody can help. Mali. That is start from the medial end and coming laterally, it disappears, it's lost. Oh. are my lectures are pictures and before surgery how after surgery how so I should be able to use the um, use the pointer otherwise you will not understand we are no, the system is that I think uh, now at least something there so the media length going laterally and get lost there, get lost there. So after the surgery, you see that the supratarsal fold, you can see very clearly. That will give a rejuvenated young looking eye. The first one will give a little dull or say, sad or you know, still sleepy, tired, that kind of thing. It's not, she's, she's smiling actually when I'm taking the picture. Second one, that normal eye look. So this you all get. So today I'm sure you'll go to the washroom after this lecture, you'll look at how your supratarsal fall. Uh, definitely you'll do it. <laughs> I'm doing this lecture for now, around 15, 20 years, you'll do it. I, don't worry, <laughs> I can do something for that. So that's one. And look at this. If I ask her the age, to estimate the age, you think some age. She's very young actually, looks old. So I remove the eye bags, I remove the eye bags, I bag, yeah, I bag. Make the supratarsal fall clear. Look at her age. This is her real age. So he's in 40s, but it looks the first looks maybe 60s, 70s. Yeah, that simple surgery we do under your local anesthesia. This is very common in Sri Lankan practice. Lower eyelid puffiness. Lower. Eyelid. This may be due to the fat, or limb collections, and the muscle sackness and the skin. Again. With the surgery, we'll take completely out. You will not see even a mark. I can see, you may not see the cut, just under the lashes. Facelift, the very popular surgery nowadays. Even you see that, uh, see daily, daily, daily uh, newspapers, they will talk about facelift. For example, Colombo Municipal Council getting a facelift, or BMS is going to get a facelift. So you can understand what they mean. The basic structure is there, but they are going to have a lift, a BMW facelift model, yeah? then space lift model. Yeah. So you understand what it is. The basic plus something, basic plus something. So this all comes from this surgery, very fashionable surgery in Hollywood, Bollywood, everywhere. And Korea, the very popular one. Now. This gives you a very younger looking face, around 10 years, sometimes more than that. But in philosophy, what we said, facelift give 10 years younger look. 10 years younger. What's happening when we are aging, I'll take you back to your anatomy, first here, it's not the skin, inside the skin, SMAS, superficial muscular aponeurotic system, tease your brain, you'll remember that, 
smash. That, that layer, that layer in the face and the neck is sacked down. It's not the skin. Skin also sacked down. But more than the skin, the deep layer called smash, superficial muscular paneurotic system. You remember that, that's well developed in the animals, called paniculus carnis, I remember still. Animals can move, the, that's how they chase these flies and everything in the head. We don't have that. We, are, we, are not, we don't have such a developed system, but still we have that. So that's in the face and the neck, sacked down. Plus, we lose our bone volume, the cheek, jaw, around the orbit, in the jaw, volume is coming down. So nothing to keep the soft tissues up. The supporting structure is losing. So it's everything sacked down. So what we do, we lift this mass in this direction. I'm sorry, I can't say that. In this direction. We lift it. This is sacking down, so we lift in two, three vectors, different direction. And the skin incision around the ear, that heal very nicely, will give you an unoperated look. And giving, uh, look at the jawline, look at the cheek area, the neck, before and after, before and after. This is the idea of giving. That definitely will give you a younger look. I classify my clients in uh, mild, moderate, and severe cases. This is a kind of mild issue. Patients, so we did a facelift, giving a younger look. So while I am showing the pictures, you judge age for this patient before client, before the surgery. After surgery, you judge and you tell me, you decide what the age rejuvenation, re reduction, we get it. So that's after surgery. Around two years, five years, seven years, you can think. She looks younger, but two years younger or five years younger. Look at the jaw lines, this area. This area. Yeah, and cheek. This is a mild problem, the surgery will be a mild one. Same client before and after. Does she look younger? Yes. Is it two years, five years, ten years? Five years, you think five years, right? This is a moderate case, I classify like that. Moderate case. How old is she? Okay, after surgery. How old is she? In a different view. Here, you can see all the changes, age changes I think we all have now at this age. Look at the brow, back, cheek, and this jawline, jaws, nose, lips, neck. This after surgery. Look at the same places, eyebrow, eye back, the cheek, and the jawline, jawline, and the neck. How many years? Ten, you think? Okay, ten. So this jawline is very, very, very important to have a uh, yeah, uh, what you call feminine face or for a male, young looking so jawline definition. So I, my, I remember my, my boss used to say, Sabes, if you put your hand in your girlfriend's chin, going toward the mastoid, it should be a straight line. There shouldn't be any humps or bumps. That face is attractive face. No, don't look at me, I don't have that. That face is attractive face, from chin to the yeah? yeah. So that's what he said me. So it should be like that. That will definitely give you a beautiful, attractive face. Look at this lady. And look at the eye. That will give, give you the mind status of her. How old is she? After surgery, how old is she? How many years? Seven years? Ten years? Huh? Closer to about 20, some maybe? 20 years, I think, <laughs> yeah. But 10 is our idea, but sometimes it may go more than that. But 10 is idea, right? So this, uh, this, this lady came to my practice. Before coming in, opened the door and said, she didn't come. Doc, you are sub -Asian. doctor said, yeah, I am sub -Asian. Can you fix me 20 years younger? I said, oh, yeah, you come. First you sit down and we'll have a chat. So that's what she said. Can you fix me 20 years ago? Right. Same lady, this picture. I, I purposely I placed this picture for, for, for my registrars to see, to understand the mindset of the patients. So before surgery, look at the eyes. She has given up in life because she looks old. You know, there are a lot of issues. A lot of which I can't tell all those things for in the family. She looks old. 
So we also part of, we also culprits of their husbands. <coughs> so she was given up. She said, I want to look young, otherwise it's, it's, I, it's, it's okay, I can't die. No point of living. This is after the surgery. Look at her mindset and how happy she is. So this is what I said at the beginning. It may look like a cosmetic. Oh, it's a cosmetic job there. Yeah. But sometimes it's more than that. It's give a really a good quality of life. If any community physician here, I don't know what you will think about this. Please share your ideas. Uh, the quality of life and the cosmetic surgeries. Yeah. She looks really. And the hairstyle, look at that. I didn't tell. She changed. And what I, one thing I noted there, if when the face or any part of the body become nicer, it motivates them to look after the other areas. They will look after their skin. They will start to apply sunscreen. Now they will look after their hair and, and the clothing. And the bag. At first day she carried, the, the, uh, it's like a pulling bag, a parana bag. Then when she coming for review, it's very shiny, black and gold leather bag. That's, I noticed, I look at all the things. Because of that. I didn't tell anything on that. They go to the salon, change the hairstyle, makeups, all the things, they will improve their quality of life. So that's, that's, so mild, moderate, severe, so five years, two years, seven years, ten years, but if anything goes more than ten years, it's not nice in my opinion, but sometimes happen. The young girls, they come for a nose job mainly, for the rhinoplasty. This is a uh, uh, young girl with the old looking nose from the surgical point of view. This humps, droopy tip, all comes with the age group. Sorry, with the aging, the humps and the things, yeah? So we simply change that, make it straight, lift the lip, that will suit for her age and the face. Same face, different nose. So rhinoplasty, nose job, very common among the young clients, young patients in Sri Lanka. And this is standard Sri Lankan's nose before and after. And these boys and girls, now they know now they know. Not when I was a trainee or a house officer, we don't know that such a thing. We can do this kind of surgery, or this nose is, or this chin is not dry, or this breast is not dry. We don't know. We don't bother. Now they know. They will come and tell you where to operate and what kind of surgery to do. About. They come with the pictures also, surgical pictures. This is the model I show you there. She's looking good, but she said that my nose is not good for modeling. That is fine. What's wrong with this nose, ladies? She's beautiful. Yeah, but she said, no, it's not right. And she will tell me how from the frontal bone, what is the angle the nose should start and where it should start. Very interesting, Claire. It's like talking to my colleague. She talked like that. They focus on one area, read all these things, and they'll come and say, you may have the same experience. Doctor, I did a research on this. Do you do research on this? Ah, that's a big topic, doing a research. I did a research on, on this, 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 these things. Uh, nose should start like that. Yes, she's right. For modeling, the nose should be like this, not that. For, for family life, that's okay. But for modeling, that nose is not good. And she wanted to improve the jawline also, so we did that also. She wanted to improve the lip, we improved the lip also. But main thing is the nose. Look at these children who were born with cleft lip and palate. They were so beautiful children. But except the nose and the lip and the palate and the maxilla. Maxilla is hypoplastic, nose is, you must have seen these children. Now they are teenagers. This is beauty that. Otherwise they are beautiful. Look at the eyes, very vibrant, and the chin. If we can give a nice nose and the lips, they will look really good. So that is after surgery. We do. It takes some time, it's not easy. Very difficult rhinoplasty, this kind of job. But we improve their life. This is skin. Nose problem, but come from the skin. Yeah? So with the laser, we manage this. Still, we have to do some more. With the laser, there's not a one treatment. It may be around 10, 12 sessions we have to do that. But we can give something look like a face and the nose with that. Ears. It's not a big issue, but in some school is a big issue. Projecting ears, we simply manage this, correct that, and giving that. Even some adult come with that. We improve their ears. Jaws, upper jaw, lower jaw, one may be longer or shorter, other one may be not symmetrical, different issues there. Depend on the problem, we correct that. Say upper jaw brought forward, upper jaw brought forward, lower jaw pushed back. Upper jaw brought forward, lower jaw pushed back. Uh, this, this, very common in the rural area, 
the theta projected, upper jaw is projected, they will come and say, not, not what they have problem. The mother will say, doctor, we have a problem. What's the problem? We can't get uh, married. That will, that's how they come. They don't say what the child has a problem. Yeah, yeah. that's true. So we can help them. And implants is again popular in Sri Lanka. Uh, when they say implant, you remember the, the breast implants. Yeah, similar to that, we have some facial implants, mainly the cheek area and the chin area and the jaw area. It's a silicone based. We put it there, fix it there to change the shape. Look at this, before and after. Cheek and the chin. Of course, I did a small nose job as well. And the side view, before and after. Yes, the implants. Sorry. The cheek area and the chin area give a really good shapes. The, I think ladies, you like this. You like to have the cheek and the chin in, like, in the such a way. Yeah, I understand that. So I, we do that. The side view, if you look at, I don't have time to explain. This is, the, the, the way it looks is not a straight line. I can't know this. It's like a it's lazy S. It's like a lazy S. It's not a straight line. Yeah? It's almost straight. It's come here, go here, then deeper. Again, bulge out and come. Lazy S. So if you, if you have any beautiful lady in front of you, go in the side view profile and see how that lazy S line is there. Liposuction. Remove your fat like a liposuction in your tummy. We do the same thing in the neck. Remove the fat. Yeah, it's very useful in the younger patients. The younger patients see the young girl. That double chin, submental fat looks ugly. Simply remove that. Very simple treatment there. Look at this girl. So for she said, I don't have a defined jaw. I don't know where the, my face finished and the next start. Correct. Where the face finished and the next start. There should be a borderline. That's the jaw line. Yeah? Oh. So we will make it defined, well defined. Oh. She went through surgery as well. But the neck, mainly the liposuction. See the youngest patient I operate, she's 36. But she's a teacher. She looks very old. She said that her, all the children are categorizing her with the senior teachers. <laughs> but she is a very junior teacher, so she wanted to do that. Hair transplant became popular for now last 10 years. There, yeah, we do this me and my senior registrar, and the registrar all the, yeah, in the line, my nurses there. Yeah, we do it here. So we take the graft from the occipital region usually and plant in the front. But mind you, being bald is now an option. You don't need to get this kind of hair transplant. If I say this is, this is an important or beautiful surgery, if any gen having a bald head, we'll be very, we'll often that we're feeling very low. That's not right. Not right. Right? What's wrong with being bald? This is a culture. If you go to the UK, I think most of boys are shaved because the girls think they are very, very masculine and they are very active men sexually. To be honest, they like that. They like so that's fine. So I am losing here. I am losing this here, and my, anyway, my wife does, she doesn't like me look, looking younger or doing any surgery. My child like, doesn't like changing my fear. But I feel I'm all right. Ten years back, yeah, same. Twenty years back, yes, I am same. Now also I am all right. So that is not the option. If you want to have a hair transplant, you can have it there, yeah? but not necessary at all. Yeah. The girls think you are very, really very active, hormonally active, and you are very active in sex, and you are really a man. Right. So we take this, you shave that, take the graft, and simply and plant it. Yeah? This is how you will feel at the end. So you'll see at the end of the transplant, then it takes around nine, seven months for you to see the growth. And be careful about this advertisement, young boys, girls, we are going to do that. Still, in my opinion, we are doing all other surgeries up to the international level, or we are not second to the, any country in the world. Hair transplant is not that. I'm admitting that. I'm doing this for now 10 years there. Yeah. We are improving, but not really up to uh, international standard. This is the only surgery we do and wait for the harvest, like a, like a farmer's. We do the surgery. You had to wait for 9, 10 months to see the growth. So you just wait and pray, exactly like a farmer's. Then after nine months, you see what is happening. So important questions. 
how, what the success rate? That means if I do 100 graphs, how many hair are going to grow? 100 out of 100? Fantastic. I have never seen wherever I, I was trained or wherever. Going to see cases, I never seen. So in places like UK and Turkey, they will give around 80, 85% success. Here we are giving around 50, 60, 70. That's a reality now. Maybe after 10 years, we'll be better. Don't uh, understand, so don't trust this advertisement 100%. So this is the results we are getting. getting. Somewhere they yeah, are better than the, the bowl, but not 100%. Yeah. This is my first patient. That's what I'm showing the lady. She likes to have some hair to cover that. My first case yeah, to improve that, that patch. So I did around 500 graft to improve the patch. Some improvement there. It's not a great thing, but some improvement. All right. <coughs> Hairline lowering. Ladies, if you have a hairline very high up, yeah, more than the proportion, we can lower that down with a simple surgery. In this diagram, I remember this case, I was lowering this around, uh, um, uh, around three centimeter. This girl had a very high hairline like a male. 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 So I reduced that level. Very simple surgery. So this is before and after, the forehead. See that? First one looked like a male forehead, second one looked like a female forehead. And facial feminization surgery. This become a little more here now, very important. I, I like to talk about this. We are doing this now. So mainly the sexual medicine group, transsexual medicine people involved here, psychosocial aspect, psychiatrists involved. Endocrinologist, medical aspect, they involve. Face, we involve. Breast, tummy, genital area, general plastic surgeons involve. Uh, and the legal aspect, all need to be aspect there. But there are people suffering in silence. They, they change their genders. Uh, it's very new to our society, but we are coming up. Next month or following month, we have a big symposium, symposium about trans uh, surgical, transgender surgery. Uh, probably first time in Sri Lanka. Uh, uh, there, there are talks about the gains and support in there, but it is coming up to support. So as a surgeon, our issues, look at this picture, male and the female, the bone structure is completely different, the shape. Shape, eyebrow, look at the eyebrow. The bone outline, yeah, look at the outline, different. Look at the eyebrows, different. Look at the nose, lips, and the chin, jawline, and the neck, where the neck start, here where the neck start, all different. Look at this, at the forehead curve, this way, that way. Eyebrow, and the nose, nose curve, lips, chin, and the jawline, cheek, and Adam's apple, the tracheal projections, all need to be addressed. The face, of course, then the breast there, tummy there, and the genital layer, all that. That's got another area. So we are doing slowly these things now. So as a general practitioner, if you won't help, there are people now taking up this. Psychi psychiatrists involved, endocrinologists involved, general plastic involved, facial plastic involved, and the legal aspect is experts involved. I'm sorry, I don't like to show, I have few cases, I don't like to show them. It's still not right to show that in public. All other patients, they are, they, I got their consent, they know that I'm using these slides. This is not that. So I can't say before and after. You must have seen some cases there. Come to the non-surgical side. The Botox injection became very popular. For the wrinkles. Just look at the wrinkles here. Forehead and the eyebrow is lift up. And this is a normal, this is a teacher. Normal expression, normal. She's not trying to show anything there. Oh. Right. Imagine somebody like this at your home. You don't know whether she's angry. When you, when you, after your hard work, when you are going home, if somebody is looking like that, don't know whether she's angry, sad, or suspicious. <laughs> Why are you coming late? <laughs> it's not. If you give a Botox, that smooth out all the wrinkles. That is very normal looking. That poor girl. There's a teacher, she says. She, she doesn't like the salvation. I don't like this expression all the time. My children are scared. Uh, so that's, let's give the Botox, simple example. And the fillers, we fill now. We take your own fat and there are some arti artificial fillers to fill and shape the areas. Look at these lines, the deep furrows. This area, this area, here, here, I don't have time to go in detail. We inject and smooth it out and fill it. 
this one, a fat, body with a big area, is the, uh, the fat dystrophy. So we inject patient own fat, take the fat and inject. This is one case before and after, only the fat injection to, to change the face, plus the nose surgery. Surgically, only the nose I did it, other than that all are fat injection to shape the lip, give the smiling lips, cheek, chin, everything. For a good example to show how the fat injection works. PRP is coming very, very popular now. Take your blood, pay client's blood, separate the platelet. So platelet rich plasma, and we are using for so many things, starting from hair loss. Hair loss. Every day I'll have around one or two clients for hair loss. So that give a hair growth. And under eye darkness, ladies, you always worry about this. It's a big challenge for us, difficult to treat. It helps. And whole face, it will give a little, it remove the, the tiny wrinkles, fine li lines out. Yeah. They call that facelift also. Lasers. Lasers are very popular now for the last six, seven years in Sri Lanka. We are having a very good lasers now. To get rid of these marks, acne marks, trauma marks, yeah, surgical marks, and the unwanted hair. Simple thing to do that now. Laser, hair removal. And all these skin stacks, what's lasers. Chemical peels. Now we are doing different chemical peels, starting from phenol, retinol, TCA, Salicylic acids, you know, control the acne, acne marks, pigmentation, and the skin rejuvenation, like that. Right. This is, I'm going, I'm going to you to talk. It's like exercise. You tell me. There are no right or wrong. Don't worry about that. Answers. This is before and after of same client or patients. So what I would have done it, or what are the changes we have done? Yeah. Looking at the whole face, it looks very oily before. After one, it's less oily. So that's mainly, we, I use the chemical peeling to cut down the oil secretions. Eye bags, see under the eye here? Here, yeah, look at this under the eye. It is smooth in here. I did the fillers here. And she had a mole here, I removed that, a surgery. Right. And this one I filled and smoothed it down. Look, shape of the lips, she wanted a little broader. I used the filler and chain. Shape of the lower jaw here, this, she wanted a little, little round and that's what she want. So again, that a little bit of fillers and the Botox there. So a small surgery, only surgery here. All others are chemical peel, Botox, fillers and the lasers there. Yeah? Same clients. Looks now. So these are uh, four or five years over the time. Looks much younger. What I would have done it. Any, any guess? Any guess? What more I would have done it? Recently, in a party, same patients, look at this. What I would have done more than that? More than what I said. Any, any, any idea? Looking at the f this picture and here. Of course, chemical laser and this, this Botox and the fillers there. Anything? Eye drop. Any other surgery? Nose. Nose, yes. Paraplast. Yes, rhinoplasty. Here is a very broad. So I did a small surgery later. So these, these clients, and, and if you are good to them, they come for five, six years. So first you do small, small things. When they have a trust on you, and you also have a bit experience now, then you do a little more higher stuff later. So looks from here to here. This is a recent one. They are batchmates, and she looks much younger. This is one of our girls, one of our child trying to be a star in Chennai in the film, film industry. This is her, her films in Tam Tamil's movie. She is Sashvi. So she looks like this now. These are some of the posters from her film. She's trying to be a star there in Chennai. This is how she started around four years before. That's how Sashvi was, came to me. Then I did some lasers, Botox, something like that, no surgery. And she was a good artist here. Some, he won some award, won some teledramas here, in singular teledramas. She was looking like that. No surgery that time. Then I did first surgery, the nose. See before and after. You change. The nose surgery is the one will give you a big change for your face. Yeah? But still the lips, same, cheeks, same. And after that, she wants more improvement, improve the lips, improve the cheek, and improve the chin, all surgery. 
sorry, lips not surgery, lips is a filler, cheek, nose, chin, all surgery. So she won't look that Bollywood or that actress looks trend. So we do it. So that's how now she looks from there to here. It's around three years now, three or four years now. So this is a sort of film star look. That is a typical of Sri Lankan village girl look. So from here to here. Oh, that's, so a lot of non-surgical thing, later surgery, nose surgery, cheek and the chin, jawline surgery, plus shape the nose, lips, eyebrow with the fillers and all. So this is what all this facial aesthetic, considering the whole face, not only the nose, not only the lip, you're seeing the whole face or the whole body. So in summary, we talk about outer beauty, so contouring the body and giving you a little younger uh, look, rejuvenation, focusing mainly on the shape, but not to forget the texture and the color and the size we also focus about. That's give a, a surgical, surgical uh, uh, package, something like that, to understand all are important and if you can give all these improvement, good, and it's more than what you learn as a surgery, as a surgical training. Yeah, that's what I call it, is the surgical art. Surgical, it's more than what you learn, what you're trained there. Yeah. So we call that the surgical art. So that's what we did. If any question, please, you can ask, and you can contact me anytime. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Sabesan, for a very enlightening lecture on facial beauty, and I believe you would have made our live audience as well as the online audience feel very insecure about how they look now. <laughs> and think twice, <laughs> both the ladies and the gents. So um, we ran beyond time, but I didn't interrupt you because it was so captivating. And we also uh, into our lunch hour. But if there are any questions, please. How, how, how extensive these surgeries are? Like expensive? Uh, no, no, extensive. Extensive. Like, extensive. No, yes. Does it, does extensive. It, does it carries a risk? Yes. So come to the surgery. The smallest surgery I would say blepharoplasty. That will take around one hour. A brow lift will take two hours. Face lift will take around six hours. And, then and then you have to be under anesthesia. Yeah, all, most of them are anesthesia. Under local uh, brow lift we can do, um, um, blepharoplasty we can do in local. But now the trend is changing because the anesthesia is improving. So face lift, when I start to do almost all the cases are GA. Now more doing local and sedation. And I said, is it there? But local and sedation. So the cost is less. And sometimes it's useful for us. We can ask patient to turn that way and move that way to eye. Yeah. Particularly here, we can ask her to move the lid, close it. Move. It's helpful. Oh. So now things are changing. So more towards sedation. Now we are going. Local and sedation. And I have done face lift with pure local also. Shall we do lift. many times? Uh, no. Sir? If you do face lift once, it lasts for 10 years. But it's like a No, no, what I want to do is the correction is you do one small in yes, stages? Yes, yeah. no, no, most of the surgeries are one. Redone now, very, very less. I think one in maybe 25 cases, maybe small changes you add again to improve it. You like uh, to tell about the cost? Yes. This all are in private cases. So if I put the range, the cheapest one may be around blepharoplasty, it will cost you one lakh. Facelift, will cost you around six lakhs. So jaw surgery, sometimes upper and lower jaw, if you are doing, the cost surgery means surgeon, anesthetist, assistant doctors, theater charge, ward charge, and if you do ICU, then ICU charge and all. So jaw surgery may go even one million if, if, the, child, if the patient is staying in the hospital for two, three days, ICU. Fat injections and things like that? Yeah, that touch cheap, maybe one lakh. Okay, right, thanks, thank you. No income sir, to officers here. Sir, <laughs> <laughs> sir, what kind of medical issues can occur with the changing of the facial characteristics? Uh, any, medical, me any medical legal issues with the changing of facial? Yes. I am yes. talking about the especially identification. Uh, correct. Correct. Uh, that's a very good uh, aspect to things. Because they change a lot. Some are, some are un uh, unrecognizable. Some are unrecognizable. So that they have to change their identity card passport, all there. So we discuss these all these issues. It's so if this happens to change that. Uh, no, if this happened with our diagnostic card, our letter and the GS letter, they have to change. Okay. Uh, so 
not many there are in some cases they have to change their ID card. So but we'll give all that documentation say this patient underwent this surgery on this particular day on our in this hospital we all give a proper document then the GS will maybe authorized or something then go to next level. Medical legally but you know, for court case or something? Yes so far we haven't come across anything oh, but if that's come across then we have to go to the court and say yes this patient ID did and this one is the that one. We are with Zihan Khan. Other countries happens, but here nothing happened. Say I do some mistake to you or I change my face, then I try to escape. Uh, then medical legal expert will in involve. And we should, a person who did the surgery should be involved and give evidence. Correct? Thank you. Ladies. Are there any other questions? If not, I believe we are late for lunch, so I would like to uh, conclude this yeah, session, yeah. and I will be. You can talk to me anytime. Yeah. Of course, Dr. Sabesan. Thank you very much for a very really captivating uh, discussion, and I will be presenting Dr. Sabesan with a small token of appreciation.